I'm often asked why the government is looking at the idea of a provincial police service. And the answer is simple. We have a duty as Alberta's government to consider whether new and innovative approaches to policing can make our community safer for everyone in the province, no matter where they live. The deployment model that we're announcing today shows how an Alberta police service could do just that by bringing police officers and mental health and addiction specialists closer to the communities they serve. This is a model which addresses the realities of policing in the wide open and remote spaces in many parts of our province. It has practical ideas which would put more boots on the ground and reduce response times in rural Alberta. And I'll give you an example. Community detachments serving smaller municipalities and rural areas would have a guaranteed minimum of 10 police officers under the Alberta Police Service model. Community detachments would also have civilian mental health and addiction specialists available to provide support to frontline response. Now, contrast that with the status quo, which leaves some detachments with as few as three officers. And this would change, or sorry, this would result, and in this change, this would result in 275 frontline police officers being added to the smallest 42 detachments in Alberta. What Minister presented this afternoon, it's not a blueprint, it's a boondoggle. It's a UCP boondoggle that we know that will cost Albertans millions of dollars more in policing costs. We recognize that Albertans want better policing and Albertans want their government to focus on preventing crimes and addressing the root causes of crime. And what Minister has presented, nobody is asking for it. There were 72 organizations, municipalities who oppose this terrible idea. Alberta municipalities in their fall convention and rural municipality of Alberta, uh, RMA, in their convention, they both oppose this idea. We do know that their own report says that it will cost Alberta uh, $200 million dollars in revenues from federal government that will no longer be available and then 336 million dollars in upfront transition costs and that's on top of what this government downloaded onto municipalities early on when they changed the police funding model that was 286 million dollars that municipalities are paying more in policing costs i think the government need to drop this idea 